Hey everybody, this is Dancy2, welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 3. Oh, well, I'm hitting the wrong button, I forgot to show you guys something. If you hit press and hold B, you can see what directions are possible to go in and where they will take you. The maps get a little bit more confusing later on, so this is actually kind of helpful. In any case, this is Desert Ruins, I think? If not, we will find out shortly. Ah, Mr. Bad Touch. In any case, hop across here. And you'll go over here. If you get caught in the quicksand, you can sort of jump through it. It's kind of like being able to jump constantly. Unfortunately, you cannot do anything else in there. You cannot attack, you cannot do anything, so... Also, there's nothing down here, really. That coin is a false hope. You cannot get to it right now. We'll go over that when we come back here when it is night. Ah... Do I need to go to both sides? No, I don't think I do. Eh. Freaking hands. I that shortly. No, I don't think I do. I think the key and the chest are on the same side. Eh. There's an angle that you can hit them at that you'll go like underneath their spear and you can knock them back. But for some reason I couldn't get it to quite work. Haha, <laughs> got the key. Oddly enough I'm doing this in the right order. Normally I get the red chest here first. Ah, this room. I hate this room. This room. This room is a prime example of the puzzle aspect of this game. If you get turned in the spring world, you will get knocked all the way back up here in worst case scenario. And, yeah, it's kind of the puzzle aspect of it. It's kind of a puzzle platform type thing. As such, you want to rush these guys. Get behind them, and kill them before they can hit you. Best case scenario, you can drop on them from the ladders. However, that will not always be available. This is sort of a checkpoint, because you cannot go through these blocks. Do not break them, or else you'll be... or else you won't have that checkpoint. Come on. See? You cannot go through them. Also, you can use it to annoy this guy. Haha. <laughs> I'm bouncing on your head. I'm bouncing on your head. And you can't stop me. With your big googly eyes. He looks like Wally. -E. If Wally -E had giant hammers for hands. That would have made the movie more interesting at least. And I'm gonna break these. Because there's no real point to them. Because I'm about to get another checkpoint down here. Just always leave one layer of blocks and you'll be fine. Oh, jeez, I was lucky there. That could have sent me really high up. Let's make sure I don't bounce. Actually, no, I do want to bounce into him. The last direction you have pressed when you uh, transform is the way you will bounce when you do that. So use that to your advantage, like I just did. Come on. Ha ha ha. It was a trick. This guy is a bit of a jerk. Uh, go after him when he's facing away from you, and half the time it's really luck and proper timing, etc., etc. But it's really hard nonetheless. And in here, please be the right chest. Yes, okay. What I was talking about earlier, this uh, map is kind of set up, at least at the, the first two chests, they are opposites of each other. In other words, it's symmetrical. Um, there will be a key and a chest on one side, and one side will only be able to be accessed during the day, and one will only be able to access during the night. You can get both keys at all times, though, but you can only access the chests in either of their respective areas. Obviously enough, since there were suns around on all the blocks on this side, it was the day area. And now we go over to the other side and we go to the night area. Hey! And in at night, all of the... Bleh, at night, all of the sand goes away and you can come down here. Poke, poke, poke. Die! Get in the quicksand! Ha ha ha! Always uh, try and break random walls, because sometimes you can find secrets and such. And I think I just... Oh, wait, I can't get down here. Cool. Ah, oh, I thought I could break that. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, yeah, you have to come in from the top. Which is later, once we get a new ability. And without the gravity, guys, this becomes a lot easier. Haha. <laughs> ah, jeez. 
you will be squished. Got to work off my weight, do some jumping jacks. There we go. I'm smiling again. I'm thin ish. Come on, give it to me. Eat. Grab key. Kill. Sumo slam. And come down. Easiest way out of there. Speedrunning tactics. Huzzah. Damn it! I need to stop doing that. Go for door. Why am I staying obvious? Oh. Here. This is where you will start to hate those, um, those guys. Them. You will start to hate them here. I demand it. Ah, uh, you stay away from me. Because they will send you all the way back down to the bottom. And they are merciless about it, too. These guys are called... Beam Robot. Beam Robata. Okay, I thought it said Beam Robots, and I was going to make a comment about how unoriginal, but it's a little bit slightly more original. Haha. <laughs> We'll get a better demonstration of what they can do later. Go away. Right here. If you get into shoot like that, you can just fly right over there. Otherwise, you have to deal with jumping off the ladder, which is not a very exact science in this game. And, come on. Haha! -ha. Gotcha. Here, you can go that far, but you can't get any further. So, all is for naught. But all is not for naught, because this is where the chest is. Oh yeah, and if you you can only access the chest by walking up to them on the side. So if you jump on top of them, you can jump on top of them. Just a little thing I thought I'd show off. And what I didn't talk about before was this chest is the I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I can't. It's the tornado calming scroll and top and bottom recording respectively there yeah. and as the name implies it will get rid of this tornado for us even though it is a very awesome looking tornado and my clock is telling me it's eight o'clock wow and our next level is volcano space yeah I have enough time I can do it this is actually one of my more favorite levels in the game. And I think we're going to actually go to YouTube's new uh, time limit with this. Because this has actually got something different in it. We can't get down there yet. There's a lot of trickiness with the rolling puzzles in this area. Uh, yeah, I got it. Those coins will come in handy later for something I don't actually like about this game. What's in here? Ah, this place. These guys. I'll give you a demonstration. If you touch them when they're nor when they're blue like that, you just bounce off them. But if you touch them when they're red, you get shocked. This can be annoying at some points because they come back. I'm not gonna make any notice of what they look like. They look like lollipops. Yeah, I can't get to it yet. Forgot about that. Eh. Yeah. Minecart won't go. Minecart pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, ow. In any case, you're probably wondering where we are. Well, we're right over here. Because this is where we rolled in before. And I'm gonna go grab that coin. I think, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this key. Now I'll do it right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that because it's actually. I think I need to. I would rather make it a lot easier. Jump, 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 yeah! No, I didn't need to do that, but that's how you get that coin. In any case, if you want to go back, you can use this rolling thing. Go down through here. 
and it tells me with coins, but I'm not. I'm going to ignore them. However much it may pain me. Watch me not be able to get back over there. And that's how I get through there. So I did need to go back through there. Okay. All right. Let's see if I got this right. Alright. Go for the pipe, and... Oh gosh, it's a boss! This is our first boss. His name is Dollboy, for whatever reason. He doesn't look like a boy to me. He is a jerk. He will turn you into Spring Wario and force you out of the arena. That is how most of these bosses work. They force you out of the arena so you can't fight them anymore. And you have to restart it. They actually get really creative with the ways that they force you out. But forcing you out also gets you a coin. So, it's mostly annoyance, but it works in its own way. So, it's actually really neat how they implemented it. Oh god. That doesn't make any sense. He hit me in the side of the head. Okay, I didn't know it made that sound when I missed it. Ah! There we go. Get in. I'm not gonna edit this because honestly it's not really worth it. Ah, I thought I was going straight. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Sorry for going quiet there, but I actually had to do a lot of takes of that. Anyway, his hammer will appear, and you can ride it on up, and it'll actually... Uh, huh, that's weird. I remember it being able to push you actually into the door, so that... But apparently I'm wrong about that. And anyway, this will introduce a new thing to us. This is our first power up in the game. It is. If I could find it. The lead overalls. Yeah, we're wearing lead. This is definitely going to go well. In any case, it says power up, so we are powered up. Heck yeah. We can now do ground pounds. It'll damage enemies and break uh, breakable blocks underneath us. It'll also knock these guys down. You remember them. You don't? Oh well. Well, we'll be going back to him because that's where we're going now. Back to Out of the Woods and the Vast Plain. So, this is Dante 2, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Wario Land 3.